There are on average nearly 700 fatalities a year resulting from car accidents on South Florida roadways. Some of these tragedies, tragedies are unsuspecting foreign tourists vacationing in the Sunshine State. I'd like to welcome our audience to the first Boca Raton car accident and injury Google Hangout. My name is Renee and I'm here with Joe Osborne, South Florida car accident lawyer. We're going to talk about a case that his firm, Osborne and Associates, handled on behalf of the sur surviving wife of an Irish tourist who was tragically killed in an accident with a truck. Although she survived, she did so with severe injuries and had a long and difficult recovery. How are things going today, Joe? Good. Thank you, Renee. Good to be here. Joe, can you tell us about your client and about the car accident that injured her and took the life of her husband? Yeah, my poor clients, uh, Bob and Adrian Hammond, were great Irish folks who had spent their lives in Ireland and upon Bob's retirement uh, decided to come to America for the first time to, you know, to get a chance to see our country. And unfortunately, while in Miami and driving a rental car, they were driving around Miami sightseeing. And upon making a legal left turn, uh, unfortunately had a truck that was behind them who was in a big hurry and uh, actually crossed the center line and went into the lane of oncoming traffic in an attempt to pass them. Well, Mr. Hammond didn't know that was occurring. When he went to make his legal left turn, the truck uh, impacted uh, the driver's side door in a violent collision because the truck was speeding, trying to hurry up and get past his vehicle. Uh, that impact resulted in Mr. Hammond's death uh, you know, really pushing the car uh, a tremendous distance and ultimately resulting in a brain, uh, a brain injury for Mrs. Hammond. That's a sad, sad story. Um, what other types of injuries that, did she suffer and, and tell us about her recovery? Yeah, so unfortunately she ultimately was airlifted to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Uh, she was advised in the hospital that uh, her husband, who had just recently retired, did not survive the crash. Uh, she had physical, obviously, and, and, and mental uh, injuries to the sense that a brain injury uh, where you have trauma and swelling, uh, loss of the ability to, to function from a motor standpoint and a cognitive standpoint were all challenges she had to deal with. She spent a significant amount of time at Jackson Memorial Hospital, ultimately went to a rehabilitation facility to receive therapies for neurologic problems and, and other injuries that she had suffered. And, uh, and ultimately, and I, this I think is incredibly sad, boarded a plane back to Ireland without her husband, who obviously had passed away in the accident. Maybe you can tell the audience how you uh, went about prosecuting the case and what was the result. So the Hammonds reached out to us uh, through a law firm in Ireland. Uh, the Hammonds uh, had or have two grown children, uh, two sons, who obviously were devastated uh, by the loss of their father and certainly to the injuries to her mother, uh, to their mother. Um, so they contacted a law firm in Ireland uh, who ultimately found me uh, because I specialize in this area and asked us about the rights that the Hammonds had as foreign visitors to the United States where they had been injured clearly due to the negligence of someone else. At that point, we, uh, we sat down with the family. They actually came back here to, to the United States. The sons uh, came here, and Mrs. Hammond came back. And we, um, we developed a plan to bring a lawsuit for the death of Mr. Hammond and the injuries that Mrs. Hammond sustained. Uh, we filed that case in Dade County where the accident had occurred, and we, we prosecuted the case. Uh, ultimately through trial uh, to, uh, to get a verdict on, uh, for the Hammonds. It sounds that uh, you know foreign nationals have similar rights to Americans living here in the US. Maybe you can tell us about the civil justice system and how it protects its citizens and foreigners and how it differs from other countries like Ireland where your client was from. Absolutely. Our, our civil justice system uh, recognizes that uh, when a person is injured as a result of someone else's negligence, uh, they have the ability to uh, seek damages and a recovery when they are injured catastrophically. In this case, even though the Hammonds were not citizens of the United States as foreign visitors, 
they have the full rights and privileges that citizens do when they are hurt, uh, especially in, in a situation like this where our roadways may be unfamiliar to foreign visitors, and uh, if they're in a situation where you have a, a driver of a truck who's driving carelessly or is in a hurry and injures somebody, um, they need to be protected just like everybody else. Uh, the Hammonds were not familiar with really the civil justice system in America, never having been here, of course, but certainly their sons uh, were able to reach out to us and we were able to walk through with them what their options were. Certainly Mrs. Hammond had to go back to Ireland she needed uh, extensive day-to-day uh, -day care given her injuries, and there was a question as to how you know, the, the family was going to deal with that. Well, this process, our civil justice system, what we were able to do in this case ultimately set Mrs. Hammond up where her medical needs were taken care of for the rest of her life. Well, it, from tragedy, that there sounds like there was a you know, successful resolution. Um, especially living in the Sunshine State. Uh, a lot of tourists come here every year, and I'm sure there's probably many families that uh, somehow, somehow find themselves in this situation. Yes, and, and I think specifically there are, we get visitors here, especially in South Florida, that, you know, the personal injury laws and the civil justice system is not something that's uh, a part of their judicial system back in their native lands. So when they come here, whether it's for a month or a week or a day, and they're visiting, uh, this is something that is, uh, you know, it's mysterious to them. They don't know how it works. They don't know who to turn to. They don't know where to go if something bad happens. And, you know, part of, I think, uh, the message is to make sure that our, you know, foreign visitors here, we want, we want people to come here and have a good time, enjoy our state, enjoy our, enjoy our country, if something bad does happen, unfortunately, like it happened here to the Hammonds, uh, there is a there's recourse and, and there is a place to turn. Well, I think that's tremendously helpful, you know, for our audience to hear today. If you have a case in South Florida related to a car accident or any other accident or injury, please call Joe Osborne at 561-800-4011. Or you can always visit the firm at www oa-lawfirm.com. I want to thank you again, Joe, for uh, participating today and sharing your experience and knowledge with our audience. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for participating and uh, invite them to come back next time when we'll be discussing a new and important topic. That's all for now, and goodbye. Goodbye.